priest stabbed to death while forgiving in the confessional. He died forgiven like Christ. On Saturday, January 29, Catholic priest of the Dominican order Joseph Tran Ngoc Tan was stabbed to death while hearing confessions before mass at Dac Mot Church in the Vietnamese city of Kantum. The Dominican order reported the priest's death, saying it occurred while he was imparting the sacrament of reconciliation before celebrating mass on Saturday afternoon. This is the most serious death of a priest since after the war, they stated. The investigation into his death, according to the Contum Diocese, has produced the arrest of a suspect in the murder. The 40-year-old Dominican had been ordained in August 2018 and was sent as a missionary to the mountainous area of that moat. He served the parish and faithfully cared for the flock of God entrusted to his pastoral care, the order's website wrote. During the Mass for the Soul of Priest Joseph Tran Ngoktan, Bishop Aloysio Nguyen Hang Bi said, We know that God's will is mysterious. We cannot fully understand God's ways. We can only give our brother to the Lord. And when Father Joseph Tang Trang No Tang enjoys the face of God, he would certainly not forget us. Comments. It is very sad to lose a priest because his value is infinite for the church. There are many souls who benefit from the sacraments given by the priests. They bring us the sacraments, which are encounters with Christ. They by their ordination, bring the real presence of Christ to the altar in the Holy Eucharist, and they also forgive us our sins. Let us pray much to the Lord to preserve the lives of priests in these times, when the Church is under attack by the forces of the devil. Today, when so many desecrations of altars, temples, and statues are taking place all over the world, we are in the midst of a spiritual battle between the forces of good and evil. Besides this, the Church is attacked within herself by the new false doctrines. Let us pray much to the Lord. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. What do you think about the attacks that the Church is suffering around the world? God bless you.